Good morning, kings and queens. I wanted to post this video to you today because I had a revelation. Um, I was driving to work and I started thinking about God and, uh, you know, a song came on the radio. And uh, I think a lot of times in our walk, um, we feel like we're not doing good enough. Um, we feel like we're letting ourselves down or we're letting God down. And I just wanted to, you know, remind myself and to remind you guys as well just of God's love and God's grace. Uh, sometimes as I'm doing this walk, I feel like, you know, I just can't do good enough. And I'm always trying to work on myself and transform myself and mold myself. And, and God's, you know, doing that, you know, he's doing that through me. I can't do that on my own. But sometimes it leaves you feeling like you're just never going to be good enough. Um, and that's a reality. Um, we're never going to be perfect. We're never going to arrive. But we can always keep striving towards, you know, that 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 which we want to seek which is to be Christ-like but the revelation I had today is that you know God is so loving his grace is so big and the reason that is is because I remember when I wasn't a Christian I remember um, being lost and just being all alone but I wasn't alone um, and the realization is is that God you know he was seeking me out every single day whether I realized it or not he was seeking me out and that's just such a, a revelation to think that you know you're just all by yourself and but there's always somebody see, seeking after you even though you don't know it they're always searching to find you and and that's love that's unconditional love when you think about somebody who's just always looking for you always wanting to find you always wanting to help you no matter what no matter where you are um, and that is just a great, great, great revelation to think of, you know, and there's a verse of it, you know, about it too, saying that, you know, um, got, you know, the, the herder will leave his 99 sheep to go after the one that's lost. And just to think about when I was the one that was lost, thank God, you know, that he came after me and that he seeked me out because, you know, I thought I knew everything and I thought, you know, everything was fine and I was doing it my way and I didn't need God. I didn't even know if Jesus existed. You know, I was like, please, you know, and I was a scientist too. So I had all that working against me. But, uh, you know, just to think that, you know, he kept seeking me out, kept seeking me out. That's how much he loves me. And now his grace, you know, covers me every single day that I make a mistake. So, and how does this work, you know, with the whole health aspect? Well, we're constantly trying to transform ourselves. Um, we're trying to get more, you know, healthier. We're trying to eat better. We're trying to exercise more. We're trying to, you know, give up food addictions or, you know, uh, cigarette addictions or what, you know, alcohol addictions, whatever it is, we're trying to work on our health. We're trying to transform ourselves. And in doing that, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a while. So we can constantly feel like we're depleted or like we're not doing good enough when we're trying to transform ourselves. And, and, and we just need to know that we're already, God already loves us. You know, no matter how far you're trying to transform yourself, um, you have someone that's always seeking you out. So that just helps, you know, that you don't feel like you're not good enough and you don't feel like you're not loved and you don't feel like you're doing enough. It's just, it really helps to know that, uh, that someone loves you just as you are right now, no matter what. So that's my revelation to you guys today and I hope it inspires you. It's definitely inspiring me. It put a smile on my face. Um, and, uh, I'm going to go with that for the rest of the day. So you guys have a great, great morning and, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.